Hi everyone, I'm Abby Carlson. I'm an infectious diseases doctor here at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome back to Inside Infection Control, our new blog from Project First Line. We are going to clear up today a difference that you see a lot, which is these two terms, SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19, and understanding what those mean. We see these terms in many places in healthcare, and a lot of people have questions because it's not always completely clear what the relationship is between the two. So we're gonna clarify that. SARS-CoV-2 is the name of the virus, the official scientific name of the germ that causes the disease, COVID-19. This can be really confusing, but it's actually not all that unusual. There are other times in medicine where a virus has one name and the disease that causes it is named something else. One example that you all might be more familiar with is chickenpox. Chickenpox, the disease, is that rash that you maybe got in childhood or maybe you got vaccinated against it. But the virus that causes chickenpox, the disease, is named varicella zoster virus. That's its official scientific name. So similarly, because SARS-CoV-2 is the official scientific name of the virus that causes COVID-19, when we talk about the virus and what it does in the body to make people sick, we use its official name. The places you'll probably see this most in healthcare is in testing and test results, where those results are often recorded by that official scientific name of SARS-CoV-2. You might also see it a little when people talk about the vaccine. On the other hand, COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019. COVID-19. It's the illness that people come down with. The fever, the chills, the cough, the difficulty breathing, all those other symptoms that people have when they're infected with the virus. So COVID-19 is the disease, those symptoms that you come down with, and it's how we mostly talk about the pandemic. So to sum it up, we get infected with SARS-CoV-2, which makes us get sick with the disease COVID-19. But obviously we don't wanna get infected and we don't wanna get sick and we don't wanna spread it to others. And that is where infection control comes in. If you're wondering at this point, well, what's a virus? Come back for the next episode. We're going to talk more about that and then why those that matters for infection control in healthcare. As always, don't hesitate to follow us on Facebook or Twitter and check out our website at cdc.gov slash Project First Line. We'll see you all with the next episode.